Now, before we get into the video, I do want to say, please go check out my Lunar Cosmetics in the description. I've got a bunch of different cloaks on there, including this one, 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 this one. And yeah, you get the idea. There is a bunch of different cosmetics on my store. I'm going to link it in the description and you can also check it out on the Lunar website. Another thing as well is my 70k pack is now released, which is what I used in this video. I'm going to link it in the description and you guys can go and support the creator. So I want to say thank you to RH56. So yeah, make sure to enjoy the video and let's get into it. Now, we've got this structure right here, which normally gives you bookshelves, and I've gone with Miner Kit for once. I'm not going with Archer this time, because I want to be able to, like, go down and not have to make, like, a stone pickaxe and all this stuff, which can be very annoying. Um, so, basically, okay, I've already gone into a room that doesn't have any chests. Great start to the game. Um, but yeah, basically, the plan for this game is just to get a very good sword and see if we can get a lot of kills. Now... In recent videos, I've been talking about the problem with uh, basically having, like, no gold. So, yeah, I really want to play a game where I'm able to actually, like, drop people and somehow manage to, like, get a lot of healing. So, I'm going to test the theory. Is Sharp 3 still very, very good? That's basically what we're going to learn in this game. Now, I don't need too many books, so I'm just going to get those and get out of here. We've already got 10 minutes till PvP. So we don't exactly have too much time to get underground and find diamonds and all this type of stuff. Uh, as well, I do have the grindstone, so we are able to like reset the books. Now yesterday, I had my weekly and uh, monthly crate, and I just opened them at the same time. And I managed to get the mythical trim from this season, uh, which is pretty interesting. It's definitely the ugliest one so far. Okay, we've found some lapis, and we've also got our first vein of diamonds. This is really, really good, because I can already make an E-table, because I got the obsidian. So, yeah, we can already enchant books, which is crazy. So, if I just do this, I can probably get some sharpness books. I think it's probably cheaper if I just do this. I'm not sure, but, yeah, we just need sharpness. Don't care about anything else. I should just do this, really. Okay, protection, sharpness... Okay, we've already got all the sharpness books. That is very, very lucky. I'm not going to lie. So, all we need now is one diamond for a diamond sword. It's not a bad idea to make a sharp the iron as well, but, like, iron swords are just so terrible in this version. And we've only got seven minutes. So, I have, like, no time to do anything. This queue has 50 people, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to mine for a little bit. Um, I feel like if it's, like, a low queue, it's better to go up early because... You don't really have chance to get kills later in the game if it's like a dead queue. Uh, if there's a lot of people, I know I'm going to be able to like get some 1v1s later in the game. Maybe people that have mined for quite a while and I like stay around the border. Um, yeah, it's a pretty dull way to play. As long as I get some golds and I can get diamonds for this diamond sword, it's perfectly fine. Okay, so we're sharing a cave with this guy who's already full iron. And I just dug straight back into the cave I was already in. Uh, I should probably just check this guy's stats. Because if he isn't too good, I can just kill him. Okay, he's got like a 0.8 KD. Okay, that guy's nicked. And he said, you're not obbying me. That's probably quite good. Oh, we found diamonds. Huge. If I have a sharp three, I can kill this guy so easily. But I don't know if he's going to like stay in my cave. Um... We just need iron for an anvil. I've got 23, but we got four minutes till PvP. These caves are so terrible. I don't know if they've changed them. That is a mob spawner. I swear I saw a mob spawner in F5 before as well. That's really weird. Have a music disc. I've got four diamonds. It couldn't be more perfect. No music disc. <laughs> it should be guaranteed every time when you find a mob spawner, I think. They're just like so uncommon. Let's... I just made a chest plate. I'm going to lose my mind. Actually gonna lose my mind. Yeah, let me know what you guys would do for season six. Personally, I would leave season five as it is for the rest of the season. Um like if people don't enjoy it, they don't enjoy it. And then at the start of season six, I would change every single biome on the map. Like I would just reset the biomes, make them different so the game feels way more fresh. Um and then also I would probably remove most legendaries. And kind of just like bring back like the season one legendaries or something. Like just have every legendary that was in season one. Or I don't know. Like 
it's kind of hard for them to think of new legendaries that are like it's quite simple because you know there is it, you kind of have a limit you can't just like make an infinite amount of legendaries bro hit me once and ran away there's gonna be someone over there as well and he's just running into them of course like a doge guys on 11 yeah, he's got a chest plate he gapped oh this is so irritating Okay, he's got another gap. I think he has a totem, yeah. Oh. Okay, we have to leave this guy because I'm just going to get both in the back. Oh, jeez. I can't let this doge guy just, like, kill the entire lobby, though. It's so irritating. It's Gustav's. He's got a chest plate and a clean diamond sword. If I kill him, he's not going to kill anyone else and we get a chest plate. He was on two. I just I did him one more time. And he had a clean head, of course. No gold for a G head. Impossible to have gold for a G head. So yeah, he's probably going to bother his stuff. Because I kind of like jumped him in an annoying way. But I don't blame him. <laughs> oh, I love pop light. Okay, I can't make a light, so I kind of have to make a G head here. Okay, I'm pretty stupid. I could have just made sharp three right there. <laughs> I kind of forgot. Let's just do projectile protection. Literally don't care at this point. Now, making penis is obviously a good idea, but I have bottles, and I kind of want to, like, rush for kills. I don't want to have to, like, um, constantly think about refilling it and doing all that stuff, so... Yeah, we're just going to try to find someone as quick as possible. Um, there's a bunch of people that are quite low, so if we can run into one of them, it would be perfect. Also, four is in the game. That guy's a pretty decent player. Something else, by the way. I could have made bandit leggings because there's carrots right there, but if I have bandit leggings, it means I'm taking more damage. And, like, the little gold that I get on top of, like, kills, you know, it's not worth it. should gap here. This is two easy kills, but there's another guy, which is annoying. Give me the heads. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Oh my days. This game is so silly sometimes. Yes, keep bus spamming. Okay, you had a heads the whole time. It's because I'm half diamond, I kind of forgot. Oh my god, why does this guy have to be decent? Yo, there's a full diamond, it's so game over, oh my god. How is he full diamond in this meta? It's just impossible, I swear. On 11. Yeah, just backstab me when he's full diamond, I guess. Yeah, 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 2v1 me. He's not full diamond. He's, he's not full diamond, I promise. It's just not possible. Yo, and he has pots as well. I think he left the head on the floor as well. So I can just loop back and get it, and then I can make a G head. But if he has speed, then obviously I'm screwed. As well, I don't have any blocks in my hotbar or my offhands. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any in my inventory. So I need to get the heads and blocks in my hotbar as quick as possible. Give me the head. Nice. Okay, I can make a G head, but he's so close. Don't really have time to like turn these into blocks. I can't see any particles on him, so it's kind of weird how he's catching up. I mean, I kind of did, like, go off to pick up the loot, but yeah, he has no particles. Oh, he messed up. Okay, he has blocks still, so he can definitely catch me. 
Yo, there's another guy. You go for that guy. He's literally blind. Okay. That guy ran past and didn't see either of us. <laughs> this guy ate a G head, so... That means he's one G head down. And he didn't pick up that head, so... Most likely, he has no heals. Um, but yeah, like, I can't do anything. I need, like, someone to actually, like, do something. That guy has pots. Yo. Yo, you go for the clean. If I just go direct this directly this way... Yo, there's no way! This guy is so dumb, bro. Okay, we need one gold. The other two people have been mining all game, so... This guy seems really, really bad. He's on 33. Yo, this guy's full diamonds. Oh my god. No way. There's a full iron. Yeah, please be one HP. Literally begging. Just be one HP. Basically one. Okay. These are the type of games that I find, like, pretty fun. Like, I wasn't finding, finding it fun before, but... Now I know that there's another full diamond that makes me kind of comfortable. There's a power three book as well. Okay, who's this? Oh, this guy has only boots. Alright, I've hit him from far away, so now Forish knows that I'm on a guy. He's a flame bow. Needs a melee. I have one head for healing. It's crazy. Yeah, he's on 21. Don't heal, please. Don't heal. Oh, he had a G head, but he didn't turn around. And he's not jumping. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. That head would have been so useful for Ares as well. I think he has speed and strength as well, I could be wrong. He's definitely got some type of potion effects. Oh my god, how did that guy die? Okay, so that guy's entire game plan was to bed bomb in the nether. I think I have to make an Ares Blessing, and I need to hope to get like 32 golds. And I'll go to the nether to make... Uh, well, I can go to the nether to get golds, and then I can make like two gaps. Okay, absorption. It's not terrible. At least it's some sort of healing. Kind of. <laughs> um, You know what? If I, if I find someone, like near the border, I can kill them. Yo, B unlooted. Oh, we got a supply drop. No way. No way. That's so good. That's so perfect. If you're low HP, by the way, it gives you a supply drop. So always be aware. Um, I think it also means that there's someone near me. I could be wrong. But I think it's just like when someone's low, you get it near you. Um, uh, with a head as well, I probably should have made Penacea. So I'll do that if I get a head somehow. Yeah, Penacea was definitely the play. Sharpness 2. Okay, it's better to have the light never right sword. Sharp 2, I think. <gasps> Totem. A horn? Wait, the horn is actually good. I just need two diamonds, but I don't have two diamonds. No gold, no diamonds. Okay, I think I activate this totem on purpose. I, it might seem stupid to some people, but if I get jumped now... And it's like a decent player, and I'm in trouble. I've got like no blocks as well, we're so desperate. It's actually insane. Okay, half a heart. Nice. Oh, this guy had an E-table. I need to be quick with this. Um, oh my god. Okay, I can actually get like very decent armor. 
I don't think about this enough. I'm not used to playing Battle Royale. Uh, XP bottles, Lapis. Okay. I think I'm literally just like spam enchant. Okay, I've literally got nothing but piercing and sharpness. More sharpness. Okay, I could literally make a sharp three. I guess we'll just be doing that instead. Alright, this is really confusing. Um, because there's a lot of stuff I need to do in deathmatch. Okay, this guy just made gym, and he's already full diamonds. <laughs> he's gonna be like full prop four. That's insane. I've got a feeling I can kill him though, because surely he has no heals, right? Like, he was full iron at 0, zero. There's no way this guy still has heals. Bro managed to get full diamonds and then a diamond block on top of that. Like, he killed an x ray, literally. <laughs> For Ravager Horn, I literally just need some leather to make a saddle. Or a saddle. Alright, so basically, I need to craft Ravager Horn and then I just need to bow forever. That's how we win. So easy to drain someone with all the healing with Ravager Horn as well. Okay, no one's going for that chest, I can get it. Alright, we're actually looking pretty good. We just need to like go to someone's loot and pick up a saddle. Which can't be too difficult. This guy's on 1 HP, have a saddle. Okay, that guy didn't have a lever and he didn't have a saddle. Shaft 3, power 3. Undamaged power 3, that is crazy. Wolfer is on 12. <laughs> How is he dropping? He crafted gym. Yeah, I don't want to fight this guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep doing your enchants, I don't care. Yeah, I literally can't make Ravager on. Alright, we need to make an Ares and hope for the best. 8 golds, that's pretty good. We'll take that. That's another gap. 5 gaps is actually really, really good. I'll take it. If I'm in a 1v1, I think I can win. But, yeah, Ravager Horn would win us the game for sure. By the way, guys, my last two videos have been back-to-back -back games. Um, and this is, like, basically the third in a row. I haven't played a single game other than these three. So, I'm basically getting to the end every single time. But I'm struggling to win because there's always someone who has, like, some very good stuff. And it's just the way I play. I can play different, but... There's no way, like, I can make an entertaining video if I just, like, mine most of the game and get one kill. Like, it's just so boring. I'm just gonna let this guy go for him. <laughs> he's just fighting this guy. Oh, okay. He's playing so aggro. Just gonna lose himself the game. Okay, he's gonna think that guy shot him, and then he's gonna start fighting him. <laughs> Look, okay, never mind. Okay, that's interesting. This guy is lagging so hard. I can just drop him, I think. I th I th I'm just forgetting I've got Light Never Eyes Sword. I don't know if I picked up leather, I would assume so. No leather, of course. Got two chest plate. Okay, just bow me, yes. Yo, there's no way, bro. It's impossible for me to sell this time. Surely. Okay, if he wasn't lagging, I would drop this guy, like, 100%. Okay, maybe we still have a chance. It doesn't need to be on high HP. I'm sick of these laggy players. It's so annoying. Did that guy really go for the loot? No, he just popped speed. What? He's probably still got two G-heads. I 
this guy. <laughs> he got his bow. Like what? Okay, I need to do this. How is it possible for us to be this stacked but have no healing? Shit's so crazy. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay guys, we actually won a game of Season 5. Can you believe it? I cannot. I'm pretty sure we killed all three of them as well, which is really nice. And I probably had like... The least amount of stuff except for Forosh. Forosh didn't really have anything. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to see this guy's sword actually. If I can pick it up. Sharp 2, Light Neverite. So did he make like prop 4 armor or something? He made... Oh, I guess Jim actually did get killed. That's weird. So yeah, GG.